This is a regular glucose that we use to get instant energy. Glucose is a simple sugar that is an important source of energy for the cells in our body. When glucose enters the body, it is processed by the liver and muscles, and then converted into a form of energy called ATP that can be used by the cells to carry out various functions. Dissolve a small amount of glucose in a small volume of water in a conical flask. I'm stirring the solution in the stirrer to get a clear solution. Also warming the mixture of glucose and water could help to get a clear solution. The oxidation of glucose involves the conversion of glucose into gluconic acid, which is a byproduct of glucose metabolism. In this reaction, glucose is oxidized using a strong oxidizing agent such as potassium dichromate, resulting in the production of gluconic acid and a green-colored compound called chromium-3 oxide. Add a few drops of potassium dichromate solution to the beaker and stir the mixture. I'm heating the mixture over the hot plate until the glucose has been completely oxidized, resulting in the production of gluconic acid and chromium, 3, oxide. Adding a little bit dilute sulfuric acid makes the reaction more faster. It took about 10 minutes to observe some change. But if I've used Bunsen burner instead of hot plate I could have got the reaction much faster. Now you can see the orange color of the solution is disappearing and the solution is becoming colorless. Actually it's not colorless but it's changing to something like green color due to the formations of chromium-3 oxide. Now I'm going to add some potassium dichromate directly to the reaction mixture to show you the reducing nature of glucose. Here glucose has oxidized itself to gluconic acid and reduced the chromium from plus 6 oxidation state to plus 3 oxidation state. You can observe how the color is changing. This is due to the formation of chromium-3 oxide which is insoluble in water and even insoluble in gluconic acid. But in this reaction I didn't found any solid chromium-3 oxide in the solution. Instead I've got the clear colored solution. I can't figure out why this took place. Even after cooling the solution nothing happened. I think this may be due to the added little amount of calcium and phosphorus present in the consumable food grade glucose. In another video I will show how to separate the chromium-3 oxide. Do like and hit the subscribe button below if you are new to my channel. Thanks to all my subscribers who helped me to reach 1k. Your support will help me to make videos more informative and more attractive on YouTube. Thanks for watching.